Welcome back to our spirited discussion and talk about spirited. Representative Thaddeus McConnor, Republican of Michigan, joins me right now. I want to get his take on uh, the president's State of the Union last night. Uh, Congressman, welcome aboard. Oh, thanks for having me, Geraldo. It's really touching, wasn't it, with Gabby Giffords? Oh, very much so. So, what do you what do you think when you see a person like that forced to retire for an act like that? Uh, the inspiring courage she and her loved ones have shown throughout this process. And it also reminds us on a larger level uh, that what we do here is important, but matters of life and death and matters of transcendence over tragedy are really what links people all together. It's not a centralized bureaucracy. It's the humanity in all of us. I, well well said. Very articulate. Thank you, Carson. Now, what about, uh, you talked about inspiration. Uh, were you inspired at all by what the president had to say? Uh, no. And in, in fairness to the president, as I said to other people, if it's a president in a re-election, you're giving a State of the Union, so there's going to inherently be some political aspects of it. So you try to focus on the policy. And unfortunately, uh, my view is that the government has to be restructured for the 21st century, a globalized, competitive world with a social Internet that links us in ways never before. And unfortunately, the president remains wedded to the 1970s model of big government. And that's why I don't think they're going to be helpful to get us out of the economic rut we're in. Do you think the people uh, come November will hear that, or will they instead heed his populist message that uh, you know the rich are unfairly benefiting from a tax code that is skewed their way, and the government needs to uh, you know be a, a kind of a, a banker or catalyst to get business going again? Well, I think that is one of the problems. Uh, like, I, kind of like Ronald Reagan taught us, and throughout great times in America's history, that true salvation of the country isn't the bureaucracy in Washington, it's the American people. And they're very entrepreneurial, they believe in self-government, they're very independent, and they don't necessarily think that the people out here are going to be able to make better decisions for them than they can make for themselves. And again, Geraldo, we see that every day in our daily lives. The ability to go online and shop for a better discount, the ability to communicate on a Blackberry around the world. Now, these are the types of things that are freeing up the entrepreneurial uh, genius and industriousness of the American people. And I think that they realize that calls for redistributionism are not what's going to get us out of this. What we need is a, re- a rekindling of the exceptionalism that made America the greatest nation on earth. But you would favor closing some tax lo- loopholes, wouldn't you? No, I want to see what happens. I mean, my bottom line is big government doesn't need any more money, and that's one of the problems. Well, I agree the president, with that. The president lays out his zero-sum economic game, where, as he said himself, if you allow people to keep their hard-earned money and deny Washington uh, taking it from them, somehow it has to come out of somebody else. Uh, we learned uh, in the 1980s that a growing economy lifts boats. And with fiscal discipline, you can get your house in order, and you can actually have a much better economy with people having opportunity. So the very premise that the president comes from, I think, was discredited back in the 1970s. And though ELO's song, Evil Woman, was a nice little tune back then, I don't want to go back and recapture the magic economically. You want to give uh, the president a letter grade for his State of the Union? No, my parents were teachers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I learned what a hard job it is, which is why I'm not one. So you didn't send you to the corner with a dunce cap on. Uh, I, I, no, I get the corporeal punishment was in the playbook. Oh, no. <laughs> That's rough. That's rough. Uh, okay, Congressman uh, Thaddeus McCotter, I appreciate it. I hope you come back. Thanks, Geraldo. Thank you very much.